Hello and welcome back. Oh boy, look at that. We got a bunch of missions to choose and we might as well go fidge uh, I mean vigilance on the the fringe. Uh, just so we have that under control. And we have an epic mission here, I guess. We have two days toward Operation Reveal. Two unrest in the stacks district and we get 40 creds. That's all. Hmm. But, oh actually that's pretty damn good because it would go up by 3 and we also get rid of 2. But this is also going up. This is just uh, 50 Illyrium. Uh, I'm actually uh, considering doing an upgrade here. So we, well not gonna replace, well, we're just gonna upgrade. Yeah, so we get more. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna upgrade upgrade it to to two. Then does the upgrade always cost the same? So we have two uh, finance two districts, for example. And if I try to upgrade this. It would actually cost me 110. Okay, so no. But yeah. Uh, and also we are getting close to the, the time where we can do our level 3 upgrade for free. Uh, that's gonna be pretty damn good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go into the stacks and just get rid of all that. And we're gonna get two almost maxed out stack, uh, sectors after that. Which is not the best, but also this is going up as well. Okay. Mm, sure. Let's go. It is possible that I'm gonna end up changing my team. I also am thinking of changing my team right now. Because if you just look at the guys... Cancel... No assembly project? What? Oh yeah, we need to decide that as well. So we can get some Grey Phoenix gear. Overdrive Serum, Hellwave, Regenvive. I don't know if we need that. Uh, Mastercrafted submachine guns is for some reason more expensive. <laughs> Why? I, I guess more characters can use it, but I certainly don't have them. I don't even use shotguns right now. Pistols can be nice. So this will take me six days. What it takes for me to be able to buy reflex sites. Do I need to get all the mod modular weapons? I don't know. Also, I would like to know. What if I upgrade something to level 3? Does it go up by 1 or does it go up by 2? I can of course search for it, but the game is not giving me information here. So, I must assume it's part of the challenge. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go for assault rifles here. And uh, I think we're about ready to go. Uh, patchwork, I, I'm, I'm strongly thinking of replacing, because it doesn't seem like we're gonna go with patchwork. Uh, we got this Cobra as well. Uh, patchwork just doesn't do too much. Uh, Blue Blood? Um, yeah, I mean, he looks okay. His only problem right now that the pistols suck. And I should really give him a... Well, I should really upgrade his pistols. I'm not gonna do that, though. He's the guy who can uh, smash and uh, tank. He has... Actually, he doesn't have one armor by default. Looks like that. I don't know. Cherub. The only problem I have with him is that he has one pistol. His damage is crap. That's what I'm saying. 
He's basically... He can protect others. So Zephyr is basically... I mean, I guess he's more versatile, but... Uh, he's more versatile, but less powerful than Zephyr. Also, he doesn't have speed. When I look at speed... Mobility 11, 12... 10... 10... I mean, obviously, Zephyr is the best when it comes to mobility. And it matters. And it matters because you need one person who actually can move. Someone who is clearly a little bit faster than the team and stays behind and deals with the objective, then get the hell out quickly. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Uh, and we are going here. The stacks. And right now, with this team, but I'm not sure about Patchwork. But she got her upgrade. Maybe I should take the, the guys up to, like, level 3 or so. I mean, I would... I, I really wanted new characters, but at this point, it, it is... We do have that so issue that, yeah, you have new characters, but they're not relevant. Vendera schematics refer to a vault. Keep them out of it. So we get all, we all get extra aim. I don't know. It's it's good. We shall move in. Yes, high cover. He's really good at hiding it. Are we going after the brute or the sorcerer? Let's shoot the sorcerer. Melee stance. Okay. how they're controlling access to the vault. Destroy it to lock them out. Oh, I see. Destroy the vault door to stop the reinforcements. Well, okay then. Those brute guys seem to have a big gun. Enemies How would you like around. to shoot at your uh, uh, friends? <laughs> that always creeps me out. Let's destroy the door. Wait, can I just double shoot the door? No, I can't. If I come over here, I, I think I will be able to shoot at the door. It should work. There are no reinforcements coming. We just have to deal with these guys. What are you doing? It's not about dealing high 
Well, like a lot of damage over time, I suppose. Just, just bursting it down. Uh, okay. The brute is really exposed. This has a chance of taking him out. But we can just double sh shoot him and that will probably do the job. It is a little tempting to just go up close and capture him, but that could be somewhat risky. But hey. You're under arrest. Let's do it risky. What the fuck? Here's the senses. Yeah. Okay, we can reach the sorcerer, so it is good for something. Throw a flashbang. Throwing stun grenade. So we gotta move, then use the robot. Maybe not move. Maybe not even move. I don't wanna chance it that we don't get to use the robot. Immune to the mental effects? That doesn't really matter when you're dead. Okay. I can play reckless because we got the good armor. Let's see. Let's make this acolyte. Flash out. The mover. Shoot the alien in the back. Oh, he didn't have a clear line of sight. What? Okay, we can do heal, or just give actions. Giving actions to blue blood is not the best. Well, healing myself is okay. Let's, let's heal blue blood. Let's get your insides He's a little more inside. exposed. Just what I needed. Mm, sure. That's full cover. To enlightenment. Okay. They have a very good chance of dealing that five damage. That saw me coming. <laughs> you hit him in the back. Oh, we can't reach that. I guess I kind of want the intel. Shocking hostile. Don't knock precision. Okay. Let's cap the acolyte. Subdued the hostile. Uh, let's do self heal. We're not gonna risk it. That much. Then give blue blood a free action, which, which he will use just to cap. 
Hostile is down and out. Doesn't matter. Alright. Let's beat this guy up. Stop! Bad collar. He's he's getting repressed. Police brutality. No! That that was bad. Trav was killed. So only get zapped for one damage. We we learned that. Oh. I will not get intel because we automatically killed him. You're getting fired now, Patchwork. For fucking this up. We still got intel, but almost didn't get it. So Zephyr completed the training. Field Five team, payday. 55, 25, and 45. Life Not bad. Different for all of and us. the training is complete. Human, alien, and hybrid alike. Where do we go from here? What about the snake? The many uh, the snake can only go for basic we'll conditioning. Explore these questions with a new program we call Profiles of Restoration. Each episode follows a person working to rebuild the planet and beyond. Give us a watch or a listen. We want to show you the world. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be ready in five days. I guess I have to make stuff available now. Wait. So we can't go there. This is situation only. So 45 Illyrium or 55 Intel. Again, Illyrium is the one that I never go for and I can just keep I can continuously just research the most expensive stuff but I don't think we're gonna need that much Illyrium at this point especially with the income we have I can start slacking the Illyrium however do I need 55 intel I don't need that either Actually, we might... We might upgrade this district next turn. All the way to level 3, because we're gonna go over here. Well, basically it's gonna be this turn, because uh, one turn is gonna just go by real quick. 45 Illyrium is quite a lot, though. Do I need the intel? No, we have enough intel to upgrade this, the the fringe, all the way to level three, if we if we choose to. And we are currently using ninety, uh, Illyrium. It's gonna cost us one hundred. I mean, nothing else costs Illyrium. So it's possible, it is very possible that we're just gonna end up with... I already have 100 excess Illyrium. And we have 45 coming in per week. So, I think for now, I'm kinda good. So we're gonna take the intel. Or or we suddenly start needing some Illyrium, but I, I think we are fine. I'm just gonna take the intel. I don't know. I'm so indecisive when it comes to these things. The Illyrium seems to make more sense. If we ever gonna need Illyrium, this is the time to, to take it, right? Fuck, we're taking the Illyrium. And after this, we're never gonna take Illyrium. But that that was a pretty the easy choice. Like, of the ratio to was just, just dumb. To where? They must have a network of safe houses. Find them and remove them from the board. Okay, we got two. So why didn't you ever name your gremlin? I stopped doing that years ago. What do you mean? Didn't yours make it through the war? No. I've had this one since midway through training. 
Midway? What happened to your first gremlin? Blasted by a muton during the war. So, the one that you replaced in training? Which one is that? 43? No, 45. I always forget the pair I lost to lightning. So we got one free fuel team. At the change, we got some idols. The scav market is open today. Missed shots still deal free damage to the target. That's kind of garbage. Pretty bad. I would want the reflex side. Uh, last time I didn't buy it. Okay, we have to go here. I mean, this is not a choice. Uh, we have to upgrade this. Oh no! It happens for free? Fuck, that's not what I want. Okay. And we gotta do it a little differently. We are gonna... Upgrade the district that we are most likely gonna go... And do a mission in. For free. Although that seems the best. Two district unrest every Friday? I mean, yeah. Security would be the best, I suppose. And this gives us access to this ability. Gain extra situation rewards. No valid targets. Oh yeah, situation rewards. That would have been relevant previous turn. Now we upgrade this, so we get more credits for the mission. We already going on. And then we go on the mission. Mm, yeah, we have to choose something in the spec ops. Now, do I care about uh, going to rank free? Because rank free seems to be the the least useful upgrade. It it gives you very minor income. Security would be the best, I suppose. But that's not what I got for most places. We got two securities. Oh, we shall see. You know, we don't have any in enough intel for that. I got enough credits. That's not a problem. One free field team. Well, we're never gonna do this. The Lyrium thing, that's for sure. Reducing all unrest across uh, the city by one. I mean, that could be okay. Also, or also we can get some intel only, because intel is still kind of relevant for upgrades. Like this one. Can be upgraded for 95. Um, security rank 1. Can be upgraded for 95. Yeah, but some upgrades are pricier like 135 at this point just taking the free upgrade is clearly the best wait one district unrest for completing district situations oh okay but yeah this is the best because it happens passively i don't have to do anything security is clearly the best damn it doesn't matter too much, because not like I'm gonna have everything on rank 3. If anything, I would want everything on rank 2 now. Because that gives us uh, Major Crimes Task Works uh, rank 2. Although, we don't really need it currently. So, I'm a little bit struggling here to 
uh, justify going in either direction. Like, what do we need here? I don't really need anything. If you're just putting someone in here, well, I guess we can go with Godmother. Reducing City Iron Key doesn't matter. The next item you buy in the scavenger market is free. So this effectively gives us like 100 uh, intel. Or less, because some items are cheaper. So if I'm going for that, then I would probably just start generating intel. The, the one that makes the most value here, if you're just not looking at City Anarchy, then it's Recruitment Drive. This gives us by far the most payoff. Because like this could be, for example, 135 intel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's more payoff than the glad handing. So I think I'm just gonna keep doing Recruitment Drive. And go on a mission. Uh, it's gonna be this one. We can't do anything about uh, Old Town. Two days to wood assembly project. Mastercrafted assault rifles. That can fucking wait, I'll tell you. So, let's deal with this. Now, the thing is, Zephyr needs to have uh, some items. Lux Vape. Look at this pangolin gauntlet, it doesn't even have upgrades. Do I take Trank rounds? I don't think it matters. Actually, we can't take it. Who has the breach thing? So that's all we got. Uh, getting a better pistol would help. So far, it does seem like this is the best team I could put together. Uh, just jump back a little bit. So if you just look at the stats, this snake never went on a mission. She went on a mission, and despite being like a, a fighter, managed to get 15 kills out of 19 missions. Not super impressive. The healer managed to snatch 23 kills out of 26 missions while healing and almost always coming last. Yeah, he is not really seeing too much action. A PR Verge. It's kind of like a... a I'm ca you can use it as a controller or a damage dealer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's okay. He's obviously doing fine. Does this blue blood guy manage to snatch 26 kills in 10 missions with his basic pistol? Uh, patchwork apparently is doing uh, work too. Her ratio is even better than uh, blue bloods for some reason. <laughs> what? Why? You're so bad. Is it just luck? She has a very good way of guaranteeing kills with, with uh, She's a uh, last hitter, just like uh, Blue Blood. What a bastard. And Zephyr doesn't have the craziest kill ratio, but it just feels like is like ridiculous. And and she is, she is ridiculous. Uh, let's go. Even though we can't upgrade the gauntlets, how, how do we upgrade these gauntlets? In the absence of special training, using the primary weapon ends the agent's turn. Oh, so there could be a special training that allows us to punch twice? I want that special training. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, guys! Still, 
To this day, we should be living in like a fucking palace at this point. Informant spotted progeny forces at this location. But still that Let's see what's inside. Garage. It. I like it. <laughs> I like it though. That's more my style. Units can use the running gun ability on the first turn. Ooh, that sounds good. Lead by example. First unit through this entrance does free damage during the breach. All units through this entrance get 50 dodge for one round. So I guess we want to really mix it up now. Who wants to run and gun? So Zephyr goes in here. Does anyone want dodge? You get dodge. Uh, you just go there. And you there. Actually, we need to change the order. Like that. Go! 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 Come on! Don't use your leg, use your head. Go after the brute. Uh, kill the acolyte. They are all aggressive? Holy shit, this is gonna be a problem. There's a good chance that this guy might die, will die, but uh, we can't kill him before he acts, that's for sure. Encounter one out of two. Oh, we can finish off that guy. Uh, Resonant will act soon as well. So that is a great idea. Fracturing. That's Perry. Let's make the brute shoot someone. Can he? I don't think the brute sees anyone though. I don't want to move around. Let's just Tossing blow up the vault. Can you kill your own sorcerer? Or this guy? Well, okay then. And uh, just take out the brute. Hostile is under arrest. choice <laughs> yeah I'll just kill the sorcerer oh don't worry I got more shots
seems like armor piercing not just pierces armor, but also removes armor. That's some fierce resistance. This must be a progeny stronghold. Oh no. They were not prepared for us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Last unit uh, through this entrance is marked until the end of uh, the encounter. Enemies deal one less damage during the breach. I mean, that. Why not that? Birch has a throw flash bomb. No, 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 no. We wanna shoot. And blue blood, then terminal. Let's go. Time to move. Oh, a codex. Let's go after the codex. This troll is hard to kill. The codex is. Actually, it proved to be the target I should be going for anyway. Okay. her up in the turn order. Now... <sighs> These trolls will act early. And I have a chance of killing them. I guess we can kill that guy too. But we can kill the codex for sure. Let's do that. And do a parry. Then... We don't have an action here. We can do a second wind. One use permission. No! We'll end turn! Didn't want that. There's a more intuitive way to show that. They can just have it with different colors. Like green, three action, blue, one action. Uh pff, I don't fucking know. Purple, one action that ends turn. Or they can have like two action two, whatever. Unleash your frustration. As long as it isn't us. We're not dead yet. Mm. Doesn't quite work. Okay. Ceasefire grenades, but they are a little farther away. Uh, it's better that we do regular shots, maybe. 
Although if I do that, there's a good chance I can finish him off with a subdue. Grenade out. Let's go for a punch anyway. That was a bad collar. Uh oh. Last time she dealt like five damage. Big grace and have armor. Oh, look at that. So, uh, we can heal. Take a shot at the resonant. Do I want to give anyone a bonus action? Killing the resonant in the corner would be nice. I suppose I'm giving a bonus action anyway. Then shooting. As else it's gonna be a move and shoot with the chain shot. Come on. Deflect it! Okay. He's gonna parry. And we're going for just a regular shot. Full cover. Okay. Doesn't look like that. So Battle Madness is not the best right now. I think he can still take a shot at the Sorcerer. But we'll see. Not the case. Yeah, finish off the Resonant. His accuracy is just stupidly high. This is will end the turn. The phase lens should be used as a finishing move. Hostile is down and out. We won't forget you. Beat your ass. Come back here. Can we reach? Virch, can you beat her up? I think Blue Blood can reach. Fist in the face. Survive the onslaught for three more rounds. Wow, I will ever do that. Transferring. Shoot anything that moves. Good looking out. Okay. Yeah. 
More yet come, one by one. Zephyr, find you food. Oh no, their positioning is not perfect. So we can get a little closer and maybe take a land shot. On this guy. Light it up. Huh. Hey, would you like a bonus action? For it. Now! Smashing extremity. Works. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. Let's parry. It seems gotcha. like the devs just assume that p players are gonna kill a lot slower. Pick your shots. Oh my god, Zephyr. Oh yeah, just take the shot. Don't even move. Just punch me in the face. Just capture him. Hostile is down and out. I think we captured enough guys now. And shoot. Oh no. Wow, we're getting swarmed. I couldn't deal with the gas in one turn. We come, we come. I see that. I just go in with the regular punch. Screw that. Let's just go for the next next group. Okay. Uh you can do some finishers here. Take out the thrall. You're under arrest. <laughs> Ammo's nearly out. Okay, but we can take one more shot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, capture this guy. Yeah. Another caller <laughs> for the medic. Okay, damn. Oh no, the Acolyte is going to act. What will he do? Versus my max armor. Oh shit. He's going for a choke. Don't do that. So. Uh, we can get a little closer. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. But we can kill the Thrall. If I could do one more damage. A lot of enemies would just die from one hit. So the difference between 5 and 6 damage is 
is being able to kill in one shot or not. Splintering. Okay, I, I guess need a better angle. Get closer. This thing is nearly empty. I set him up, you knock him down. Oh, look at that. 14 guys captured. Runs to complete 9. We just captured more people. Okay, 80 credits, 30 Illyrium, and Torque completed the basic the training. The run, with far fewer places to escape. Oh, what? We've seen the project. No, it doesn't matter. Progeny can muster highly trained Codex infiltration experts. Does it matter? The Progeny message is reaching further, recruiting more acolytes and even sorcerers to their cause. So. Either they have codexes or they have more guys. If the codexes work the same way they do in XCOM or the other XCOMs, and the codexes are pretty damn annoying. And these guys are Completely useless. Just go for numbers. So training is complete. We definitely don't have more training available. Patchwork doesn't have a training available. Verge. Gainability Mind Lash. Deals Mind Flay. Deals an, an additional 1 damage to each enemy in the neural network. Mind Flay kind of turned out to be an ability that, just, that I just never use. Maybe it's a free ability, but apparently it also deals damage to you. Increasing his dodge? I mean, that would be good. Gainability Guardian. Zephyr doesn't have anything else to do. Not blue blood. Uh, doesn't matter right now. So who are we gonna send here? Verge could use an extra 20 dodge. He's gonna be unstoppable after that. It's a very good combo that they deal less damage to me. Because we're dodging it and they deal half damage. Kind of. I'm not exactly sure where it's rounded, but they deal less damage, and I also have armor. And we also have heal. So, Verge is pretty damn tanky. So, I think that's a good choice. He goes from APC duty. Uh, we're doing that, we're doing that too. The progeny uses psionic relays to coordinate their forces, but that's impossible without serious automation. They must rely on modified advent tech to pull this off. Locate and confiscate it to disrupt their operations. We'll see about that, okay? Oh, gain extra situation rewards. Oh, you've got to try that out. But we also have to decide who we put in. Uh, do we put in the snake or do we put in patchwork? Because patchwork... I don't know. <sighs> I want to try the snake. Let's put in the snake. And, uh, yeah. That should be fine. We're just trying out the snake. Training is complete. Agent idle. I'm just seeing, like... Trying to, to see if, like, if there is a very relevant upgrade here. But it doesn't seem like it. We're doing the Mastercrafted Assault Rifles. 
And we gonna need enhanced pistols as well. I don't know how to get reflex sights. Breach tactical equipment. So this is for breach only. Breach explosive. Medi patch, holo scanner, target analyzer. So this is for breach only. This is what we get for the got we, for the Grey Phoenix. Uh, this is just the medikit. So this is about the android, but that's obviously no good. Oh shit! Allows two agents to be assigned to the training duty? If I switch... What happens? This is good! Build rank 3 uh, finance field team. Oh, look at that. Also, the the requirement is kind of a kind of telling because I built the rank free finance field team and this allows me to do improved training. This means very likely that if I build a rank free security and rank free technology, I'll get access to the other two. So, yeah, that is top priority. By all means. And this also means that I will probably end up with like 10 characters uh, total uh, by the end of the game. Currently, I have 8. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.